You ever find out you live in a bad neighborhood by watching a movie? <laughs> I saw Training Day with Denzel Washington. I was like, wait a minute, that's my house right here. <laughs> oh, Finesse Mitchell is back. He's in town for shows at the Improv in Schaumburg this weekend. And uh, it's kind of good to see you again. <laughs> Thank you so much good for having me back. Good to see people back. in Absolutely. person again. I'm in the studio, uh, people. Yeah. We're all Man. probably vaxxed up and COVID free. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be out of Los Angeles. And Chicago is one of my favorite cities to perform at. And whenever I want to do a one-hour special, which I'm about to do in January, I always come to the Schomburg Improv, Chicago Improv, because it's a great crowd. Is I that mean. where you're shooting your one-hour special? No, but this is where I like to know if it's really funny fun. Ah. The, the, my type of crowd that comes out to support me in Chicago, A, they just, they love, they love me. Yeah. But then they, my jokes are always walk in the middle of the, that line of, you know. Yeah. And they'll let you know if something is not working. Yeah, but <laughs> mostly they just always belly laughing over, and I oh, just, I just love the energy. I love the vibe. You need to treat yourself, people. Shot Town, if you haven't been out in the house, yeah. I mean out of the house, come out this weekend. Get your tickets, cause uh, I'm putting smiles on people's yeah. faces. I'm, yeah. Are audiences different uh, in different parts of the country? Do you know if you got to go do stand up in like Nebraska or something versus Miami? Or do you know what you're getting yourself into? Or is Absolutely. It, you never know. Because I never go to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> so I already know that crowd sucks. <laughs> right. But Miami, yes, I kill it in Miami. Atlanta, DC is a great market. Cleveland, Cincinnati, believe it, Raleigh, Durham is a great huh. market. Dallas, Houston is a great market. Chicago is one of the best. Speaking so. of Miami, uh, we heard you talking to Portia about growing up in Atlanta, but you played football in Miami with The yes, Rock, right? Yes, I think I we have a picture with... of you guys. Do you? I think so. Oh, <laughs> you... That might be a very old picture. Yeah. Oh, my Let goodness. That is Dwayne. Look at Dewey. <laughs> yeah, Dewey. Wow. Fanny pack Dewey. I thought you were going to say maybe you were wearing a fanny pack. or. <laughs> this was the prime Miami years, oh, wasn't yeah. it? We won the championship in 91. Wow. Yeah. That's our Cotton Bowl in, in 90. And uh, he was hurt that year. That's why he doesn't have shoulder uh, pads on. But uh, yeah, we just spoke uh, not too long ago. Uh, we, we lost one of our defensive line players and one of my fraternity brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi. He passed away. Uh, but I sent uh, uh, Dwayne an Instagram DM yeah. message. And I was like, man, we lost our brother. And I saw the bubbles coming. And I was like, he's answering me back. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, he doesn't answer all the yeah. time. But then we just had a little exchange going back and forth, talking about somebody we both loved. And, uh, but it was great. And then I looked at it. I looked at my message. My wife was like, what are you about to do? Ask him, can I be in this? And she said, don't you ask him anything <laughs> about no movies. You don't, go from your like, you don't go from your friend passing away to saying, can I be in your next movie? <laughs> and I'm like, I do. It's, I'm a, hard, that guy. it's a hard pivot. Yes, yeah. it's, a hard, yeah. it's a hard sell, but. But I, even if you I, wait I, a week or two, is that something that, can is that you something you do? That? I don't even know, bro. Oh, I, come on. Who cares? Just ask him. I know. I'm 0 for, 4, I'm 0 for 15 right now. <laughs> so what is, what is one more movie he says no to? <laughs> God, I hurt, You're like, you know? come on. I could just be the guy with the one-line quip in the uh, you know, coat room or something. You know what's something. so funny? Is I had that type of personality that when we started going back and forth that day, it, was, it must have been a good day for him when he wasn't that busy. And as soon as we, as we were done texting, I looked at my wife and I was just like, Man, we need more friends to die. And she was like, stop it. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but this is one of the longest uh, conversations we had yeah. in a long time. Gosh. So other than that, um, as you know, he's doing amazing. Yeah. And uh, but I have, like you said, you was asking me about the World Pet Games that yeah. just aired on Fox that Thanksgiving was so night. Great. Yes. Anim A owners competing against their pets. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> it was like pet athletes. It was, they were calling, calling them animal athletes, but a lot of people have pets that they think jump high or run fast or are super smart. So we, Fox was saying, hey, bring those pets here. We're going to yeah. have them compete against each other. But the great part is the interspecies competitions. <laughs> but they have these funny names. Yeah. But miniature horses versus cows versus yeah. armadillos versus, like, rabbits. And so Fox always finds a way to put a spin on something. Yeah. And I just thought it was just hilarious to see a armadillo race yeah. a pig versus uh, a poodle <laughs> and what was funny was that something about the finish line and it was checkered it made all the animals stop right before they got You're to kidding. the finish line uh. so even the animals that you thought were going to win end up a turtle would end up winning <laughs> 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 so, i love
love it. Well, you can catch Vanessa at the Improv in Schaumburg through Sunday. So great to have you back. Thank you, Robin. Good to see you. Very, absolutely. I cannot wait. It's going to be a good time, people. I'll see you soon, Chicago. Thanks so much.